back at it again with another video. This time we're talking about everyone's favorite exolotl, exotl, exotl, ex exolotl, Pokemon Swampert. Or do you like Mudkips? Well, of course. Swampert's such a good Pokemon. Swampert's stats and typing lends itself to be a bulky water with quite a bit of punch. You'd be amiss to see a Swampert without its classic earthquake, ice punch, waterfall, superpower, or stealth rock for even more defensive sets. Mega Swampert, though as slow as Polyrath, has the power to completely overcome the Tadpole Pokemon with its crazy offensive stats. And in Rain, you better believe Mega Swampert is just plowing through things. Its only ability is Swift Swim, but does it need anything else? And sure, Mega Swampert needs rain before a casual grass knot takes it out of existence. But it has the crown as one of rain's best sweepers, being a wall against one of rain's biggest weakness, electric. So what does Radical Red do with our behemoth of an amphibian Pokemon? Well, I talked about in the Polyrath video, but it gets the move Surging Strikes. Which, not to flog the dead Ponyta here, but Surging Strikes is a 3 hit move as a guaranteed critical hit on every single hit. After Stab, the critical hit boost, and Rain boost, because of course you're going to be using Mega Swampert in the rain, it's just going to be big damage. Arguably? Mega Swampert is the best Surging Strikes user, even better than Urshifu. However, there is a little bit of a problem. What's the problem? Well, in version 1.10, Swampert, who originally learned Surging Strikes at level 56, now learns it at 82. Which, I mean, considering you get Mudkip right after Silphco from this terror of a person, you're able to get your Surging Strikes Mega Swampert from the get-go. But Swampert is pretty good without Surging Strikes, so why not wait a couple of badges or until the end game to get your broken, steroid out, miss his leg day Exolotl Pokemon? Well, that day would never come because Surging Strikes was officially removed from Swampert's learn set. In version 2.0, that, that's a pretty big nerf. Okay. So Swampert doesn't have its big finishing move, but it still has Liquidation, which starting off at 85 base power after Stab and Rain bonus, because we can't really count for that critical hit bonus anymore, it's still going to be 191 boosted power, which is still pretty tough. Sure, it doesn't have the benefits of a guaranteed critical hit or a multi-striking move, but with a base attack set of 150, it's not like Mega Swampert is hitting you for wet noodle. Would Surging Strikes be a pretty cool move to have on Mega Swampert? Absolutely! But this is a difficulty ROM hack, not a broken Pokemon all around ROM hack. There's some balancing that has to be created, and this ROM hack focuses more on the lesser known Pokemon to make them more fun. And we have to admit, it does. Even Pokemon with low ratings like Poliwrath, Furret, and Mightyana are now fun to use. So what do we give to Swampert? Now keep in mind, he pretty much had no changes because the only thing that really happened is that he learned Surging Strikes and then lost the ability to learn Surging Strikes. Oh yeah, I should probably also mention the TM for Waterfall was removed, so Swampert can't learn that, but it still has Liquidation. So basically no changes has been made to Swampert at all. For that reason, I have to give it a rating a zero out of five. Now don't get me wrong, Swampert is still a very good Pokemon. If it came to just how it performed, it would get a four out of five, maybe even a five out of five, if I really went into it. But the reason why I gave it such a low rating is it, it's still the same Swampert. It's the same Swampert you could play as in any other vanilla Pokemon game. For that reason, it gets that low rating. And as always, let me know in the comments if you guys agree with what I'm saying or disagree. And in fact, I actually do read your guys' comments. And you guys have changed my mind on some of the Pokemon in the old videos. So something I'm going to do once version 2.4 comes out is actually do a correction video, giving new rings to old Pokemon. New rings based on, well, my new knowledge of these Pokemon and things you guys have said about them. So stay tuned for that, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.